Hi, I'm Susan Sherwin. This is our third installment of Foreground and Background. This is today's assignment, and I'll get to that in just a second. But I want to show you how my drawing came out from the last one. So this was our window, right? In the foreground, there's curtains, a curtain rod, a floor line, a little toddler with his teddy bear and his bonky, and outside is a T-Rex. So because I didn't color this, I want you to feel free to download this and color it yourself. It's an extra little bonus. You can have a color, a coloring session. Okay, here is our assignment for today. This is foreground and background, but what we're gonna do is we're doing this outside, okay? This is a sliding glass door, and this is the exterior of a building, okay? So what is in the foreground is now outside, and what is in the background is inside, okay? Let's go outside and I'll show you some specifics. All right, so we're out on my deck, and I wanted to look at the door and talk about different things. Notice the siding would give you horizontal lines. You could just draw a whole bunch of lines and you would have siding, okay? This little detail helps tell you that it's outside because things like that don't look like that on the inside. We have our nasty little outlet down here. That's an outdoor thing. You could always put a deck chair, okay? There he is. As simple as that makes a whole story. So be sure be sure to add your details, post your photos, take a photograph of your drawing so I can see it, and come on back and see how I did mine. Since the cats decided to make an appearance, I'm gonna put cats in mine. See you next time, bye-bye. Okay, remember how my cats made an appearance? Well, I just worked that into the story. Um, and I wanted to show you something because I wish I'd shown you a little sooner, but still, I think it'll show up. First of all, I drew a plant with, in a pot, and I just happened to choose uh, orange, and it looked like a carrot. It was totally unacceptable. So I used the opposite color from orange, which is blue, put blue right on top of it, and now it's just fine. It's a vase, right? Like that. And you don't even notice that it was once a carrot, but I'm sure you can see that. Okay, next thing I wanna show you is I put siding on this side, but I didn't put siding over here. And it really needs it. It needs it to help sell the overall look of what's going on. So we're just gonna, I'm just gonna throw this in right now and show you how much that helps, that the whole thing connects. And now you can really see foreground mid-ground, and background, okay? However, there's one more thing. I darkened this because I just sort of knew I needed to darken it, but look what happens when I make this even darker, okay? And I'm gonna show you another trick. My table has a texture here. This is so you can put hot pots on the table, and sometimes it's really annoying, but this was really cool. Watch what happens. I get a really interesting texture because I'm working on something other than a smooth surface. Now, when I put all this extra foreground in and I make it more darker and more specific, more detailed with all these little lines, and I'm even gonna put some lines like this to help suggest that this is planking, okay? Now I've got more details and it's darker and it's more finished. It makes the foreground stand out even more. See how that works? And you can see I used the texture back there too. All right, I just wanted to show you that because I thought it might help your drawings too.